welcome to the replay. Hey guys, how are you? Hello, hello, thanks for joining. As you guys are coming in, bottom left hand side of your mobile device is that share button. Go ahead and hit it. Hi, Jen Gentry. Hi, Karen. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Emelina. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Melissa. Hello, hello. Hi, Karen. Oh, I can't wait for Couture Tour, girlfriend. Hi, Tanya. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Mary Beth. Boy, do I have a fun project planned for tonight. At least I hope it comes out as awesome as I see it in my brain. I'm going to give it just a few more minutes while y'all come in. Try and find my transfer, too, that I plan to use tonight. I could have sworn I put it on the top this morning. Clearly, I did not. Way to go, Wilson. Here it is. Here it is. <sighs> Boy, am I super pumped to play with this. Hi, Charlene. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Christina. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. Let's go ahead and click share. Go on and click it. You know you wanna. <sighs> Hi, Jean. How are you? Hi, Barb. Hello, hello. Ruh -ruh. Well, that'll work. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> Hi, Michelle. So, how have you guys been? Are you guys doing good today? Sorry, I was just getting all the last minute things that I needed out of the way. Um, I am super, super excited to play with this one tonight. Oh, I can't wait. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Franny. Oh, my gosh, Melissa, you are so funny. There is, there's no need to fangirl. I am a hot flipping mess. There's no need to fangirl. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so at the last request, as you guys are coming in, um... Be sure to hit that share button. Also, if you are not already a fan or like, uh, if you haven't already liked my fan page here that you're joining me on, please do so. I'm super close to a huge milestone. I'm like crazy close to 30,000 um, likes. So I would love, love, love if you would like my page. Um, if you have not done so already. Hey, Heidi. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Vicki. You almost sounded Southern with that share, you said. Ah, you're so funny, Jen. <laughs> hi, Shannon. So, um, hi, Rosemary. So, yeah, like I said, hit that like button. Super close. Um, super, super stinking close to hitting 3,000 likes, which is crazy funny to me. But, um, hi, Babette. How are you? So, tonight, we are going to be playing with the Life on the Farm transfer. Ooh, I can't wait to play with this one. I am dying to bust this open. And we are actually only going to be playing with the windmill piece tonight. That's all we're going to be playing with. Um, I am loving it. I actually seriously cannot wait because there is um, 
one thing I think it's gonna like complete my look. Uh, I filmed some videos so that way you guys will watch them while I am out of town on our second annual and second earned uh, chocolate tour trip to Cancun. I didn't want to leave you guys for a full week without project and projects and inspiration, so I created six videos while I'm gone. Um, so you're gonna see the pieces. I'm gonna make another one tonight with something from Life on the Farm, and I think you're gonna love it, or at least I hope you do when you see it. So. Um, I'm great, Tammy. Thanks. Hi, Lisa Carpenter. So, uh, yeah, that's that. So if you have never watched any of my videos, you have no idea what Chalk Couture is, I'm going to throw a little something up here on the screen. But in addition to that, I would love it if you'd put a one down in the comments below so that way I know that you are a new viewer. So here you go while I'm getting everything all set up. Yay, Angeline. Hi, Michelle Scott. Hi, Rhonda. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, 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 where are the colors that I need? I don't know why I'm, I feel like I'm sing-songing everything tonight, and I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing that. It's kind of weird. Okay, has that been up long enough? Has everyone had a chance to read? Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get chalking. I'm dying to do this. Okay, so first things first, as you read, our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. Oh, welcome, Teresa. I'm so excited that you're joining us tonight. Hi, Erica. Hi, Anne-Marie. Um, I am super pumped that you were joining, Teresa. You will love this. You were in for a treat. Wait till you see how easy this is. If a hot mess like me can do this, anybody can do this. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> it's super easy. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of these. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I did not realize that that fell behind me. Get up there. Um, you can see there are these white lines that run all throughout. Those are our cut lines. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to cut along those lines. Now, I am not using the barn tonight. That will likely be tomorrow. Um and I can't wait. Or I just might make it a sped up video. Um, I haven't decided. Uh, I'm like, there's so many things that I want to decorate my house with. And it's like, I usually wait to make a project when I'm live. But when I'm really hyped to make something, I'll make a sped up video. So that way it'll be like another thing too. Um, so that way, like it's already in my house, it's decorated, but I at least have a video for it, you know? So Here's what we are going to do. So there is, here's two things that you're going to notice that Chalk Couture has done that so help creating items. Number one, you're going to see registration marks. These are what we want to put down. Now on certain surfaces, such as wood, such as cloth, you might say, oh, why would I do this? Because they're going to show. That is where placement tape comes in to play. So make sure if you're going to order, you order some placement tape. It's literally $2.99 and it will last you forever, okay? Second thing they did, when things are multiple layers, they started doing numbers. So you do this first, then you do this one second. Easy peasy, right? So I'm going to label this. And the reason why I'm labeling this is because our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. I want to know the correct way to place them back onto their carrier sheets when they are all done being cleaned and dried, right? So we are going to do, and you know what? We're going to save the farm too because I think we're going to use this on one of them. Okay. All labeled. Step one, step two technically is done. Step one is cutting. Step two will be writing. Right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this stuff away. Hi, Eliana. Hi, Patty. Hi, Lourdes. Tell me, when do you leave for your trip? Can't... Three o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. I can't wait. Hi, Stacy Hawkins. How are you? Yeah, we leave crazy early. As you guys are coming in too, please, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. Go ahead and click share. Let's spread this chalky love, okay? Darn it, I forgot to put that one away, but that's okay. All right, so the first project, because tonight you're getting a bonus project because I need to finish decorating a certain area in my house. I'm like, I need this stuff done. 
So um, the first one we're going to do is going to be on a box frame. And this is going to match, if you guys watch the vintage tractor project that I did the other night, this is going to match it. Okay, we're going to do the same colors. And this awesome idea is courtesy of my friend Sage. I love the project that she did. I was like, oh, that will go so perfect with my decor. So this is a Sage idea. All right. Hi, Mia. Hi, Meg. Um, I know, Tammy, it's crazy. Four days, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, four more days we leave. Um, so, yeah, it's super exciting. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we're going to take these off, all right? I, I was always thinking, like, there's got to be something I could do with these little corner pieces. There isn't. There is nothing that I could figure out. Womp, womp. Okay, so we are... All straight there now. Let's get our scissors out of the way. Now, because this is on wood, I'm going to, and it's not because it's on wood. It's because I want to make sure that um, if I have a slight boo-boo, that I have a fighting chance of getting it off. Our box frames and our pallet boards are are sold as one-time use items, okay? Not saying waxing is going to make it a multiple use. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I notice when I do layers on wood and when I sometimes make a boo-boo, sometimes if you wax the wood, you have a better chance. I at least have known that when I'm doing layers on wood and I wax, my layers don't peel up on me, if that makes sense, okay? And now, because I'm waxing it, I don't need to leave it overnight. It's nothing like that. Like, I'm going to chop on it right away, okay? So, let's get that tossed. I don't need that one anymore. And before you go asking what brand of wax I use, I use... Oh, that was a lot that I just squished on my finger. Ugh, didn't feel good. I use Minwax Paste Finishing Wax, and it just happens to be the natural one, okay? So, that is that. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. What will I do without your lives next week? Christina, I'm sorry. I will actually probably go live from my business page a few times just to show how awesome the resort is. Um, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise as soon as I get home Sunday night, I plan to. Next Sunday night, I will definitely go live. I promise. Um, so we'll do that, okay? Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to fuzz this because it's going to be super sticky. Um, I'm using our fuzzing towel. Our fuzzing towels did go stock. They are due back in mid-March, okay? So if you're interested in a fuzzing towel, just keep an eye on my page. I always update when things come back in stock, okay? Hi, Jody. Hi, Avis. How are you? So let's go ahead. Let's get this fuzzed up. I usually do it about three times. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this down where I want it. I'm going to try for the center, but, well, you guys know I'm definitely... Not good at doing that. But this, oh, it did look good until I went and moved it. I would say this actually looks pretty decent. This looks like it could work. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to make sure is you have no bumps. Oh, no bumps in your silk screen area. Okay. Does that look straight? It doesn't, actually. It needs to go to right a little more okay there we go much better now that looks straighter okay so the colors I'm gonna use for this one are gonna be the fresh linen and storm okay I'm gonna do the first layer in the fresh linen and the second layer in storm now I'm gonna use our awesome stirring sticks they are amazing, and they are branded now, which, let's see if I can get it to come up so you guys can see. Branded Chalk Couture now, and I just keep washing them and reusing them over and over, okay? Now, you see this? This is a beautiful yogurt-like consistency. That's the consistency we want our chalk paste to be. Here is this fresh linen. Perfect, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to use some of our mini squeegees. And I'm going to dip my squeegee into the chalk paste. I'm going to load it up. 
And a little chalk paste goes a long way and I will likely have excess that I'll be taking back off. But I'm gonna apply it over the silk screen area, just like this, okay? Just like so. And you only need to do just the silk screen area. There's no need to do all of the teal piece because it's not going through that, right? We're just pushing the chalk paste through the silk screen area. Get all your lines, all your excess off, scrape it right back into the container, and then you're gonna come in. Oh, hold on. I forgot to tell you one thing. We wanna do our registration marks, right? So don't peel back just yet. Quickly put a piece of placement tape down back. And of course I would get it stuck to the transfer. This is what I mean by I'm a hot mess. Okay. And I'm gonna do some gray so that way I can see it, so that way it'll go through. Okay. Look. Harry Wilson. Can't get my nails up in there. <laughs> go, just go. There it goes. Okay. So now we're gonna peel back the transfer. And look how good that looks. Can you guys see that outline so far? Doesn't it look great? Now, I am going to put it in some water because I need to clean it. I actually have a little vat of water off to the side. I will not switch. Uh-oh. Right round. It didn't go through onto my placement tape. It must have been off. But that's okay. We can get this. We'll get it lined up. I'm not concerned. I'm the kind of the queen of doing that. So in the meantime, we can take that off. I think I smudged it on my fingers instead. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Shirley S. Oh, Lisa, I'm so sorry. I promise you, I will. there'll be plenty of videos you can watch, and they're short ones. All right, Angeline, thank you. You can do lives while Jess is on holiday. <laughs> there you go. Hi, Rhonda. I can't remember if I said hello or not. Okay, so now let's go to our next one. Okay, we're going to get our fuzzing towel and we're going to fuzz it up, especially because we have a layer underneath. Now, typically what I would do is I would pat some of our min wax, and I'm going to do that. Pat, not rub. I'm going to pat, pat, pat some min wax on top of this layer so that way it does not pick it up. Okay, I've noticed on wood it works. If you go back and look at my vintage camper that I did at the holiday time with the winter add-on, you will totally see how awesome it worked. My buffalo plaid did not lift at all. Not at all. And all I'm doing, like I said, I am literally patting. You don't want to rub because if you rub, you will reactivate the chalk paste and you're going to take it off. Okay, so don't do that. All right, so we've got that done. What did I do with the transfer? Oh. Right here. So I already fuzzed the transfer up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up to where I believe it is supposed to be since I screwed up my registration marks like a big goofball. Okay, this looks like this is the place it, oh, this is the place it's supposed to be. It looks like it's lined up along here, here, and there. So let's go ahead and let's do this. I'm going to load up my chalk paste. Make sure we have no bumps in the silk screen area. And let's go ahead and let's pull our color down. Okay. Get the excess off. Wipe it back into our jar. And then we're going to come in. Come on. <laughs> and we're going to take our time and peel it back. And look how awesome that looks. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Doesn't it match so nice? I love it. It's perfect. Looks crazy good. Now, what I was thinking I was going to do, I don't think I'm going to have enough room to make it happen, though. I wanted to put farm up there. I don't know if it's going to work. 
we're going to see. Oops. Oh, okay. I did label it. Okay. We're going to see. And if it does work, I'm going to be doing it in black. If it's going to fit. I don't want it to over, go over this. So if it's too wide, we're not going to do that. Hi, Denise. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Judy. Hi, Kristen. Do you wash the fuzzing tail before you use it? No, I didn't, Kristen. No. Hi, Dawn Marie. Hi, love bug. Hi, Dawn. Donna. Hello, hello. Okay. So let's see. Okay, it is definitely too wide for the farm. But I could probably still just do farm up here. Is that centered? Nope, it is not centered. Needs to go over a little more. You know what? I'm not going to put it on this one. It's it's too it's not enough room, and it's it's fine. It's totally fine. This actually looks super good. So here is project number one with the super cute windmill from Life on the Farm. So now we need to clean our transfers. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Now I have some stuff in here from uh, what I was doing earlier today. Uh, we'll save that piece. This goes off. Actually, we don't need this because we're going to do the next thing on a surface where it will come off. Okay. Get up there. All right. So this is how I clean my transfers. Don't mind my tin. It is very loved is all I will say. Crazy loved. Now, I'm hoping this works, but if it doesn't for the next one, I'm not concerned because it can come right off. I'm going to do the next one all in black, both layers, okay? So we're going to see how that goes. Like I said, if it doesn't work, the next surface I'm using is a metal surface. I'm not concerned. I'll wipe it right off. Okay. Get over there. Now, we're going to come in. We're going to use our awesome board eraser, which makes for an awesome transfer eraser as well. Okay, don't mind all of the soot coming around or what looks like it's soot. It's actually just from using um, the stuff that I was washing in here before that. It just kind of left a kind of scum ill. I think it's time to invest in a new water pan. I'm just, you know, sort of not, it's not ever fresh on my brain. You know, okay, so I got the most of it off. There it goes. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to clean the transfers with, oop, with a Lysol wipe or a disinfectant wipe, rather. Let's get them out. I love these packages because they fit so, oh, I just got all black all over my drawer. Um, they fit so nicely away in my drawer. I can make things nice and neat. Okay. Okay. Hi, Karen. How are you? You're welcome, Kristen. This is my first time watching. Well, welcome, Michelle. Aw, you're so welcome. Thank you for watching. It still drives me kind of, or it still like boggles my brain that people like to watch me chalk. I love it. I love spending time with you guys. It's the highlight. Next to seeing my dude get home from school and my hubby get home from work, it is the highlight of my day. Spending time with my chalking friends, having chit chat time. I love it. Makes me crazy happy. Okay. Let me just clean up the mess that I literally made. There it goes. Okay. So now that we've got them all cleaned, I'm going to pull a fast one and I'm going to dry them quickly. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lisa. Thank you, Rhonda. 
And as you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. Go ahead and click share. Okay, let's spread that chalking love. Perfect, dried. And the reason why I am like drying it with the towel and refuzzing it is because I'm getting ready to use it on a metal surface. I can't wait for you guys to see the other two surfaces I've already done next week. Like I said, I filmed them on a video for while I was gone. So I think you guys are really going to like this. Okay. This is sort of kind of dinged up a little bit, but it's okay. It adds to the vintage look. Okay. Get on one over. Okay, stop sticking. Okay. So let's push this up a little bit. And let's stick something here. Is that up high enough? Yeah. Here and on this side, so that way it doesn't roll. This looks to be centered. So I want to stick with that. All right, so we are going to go ahead and do layer one. And we're going to do the windmill on this awesome milk jug. Okay, and then we're going to do the farm across the top of it. Now, does that look straight or does that look crooked? Hold on, i got to stand up to see. That looks pretty dang straight. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to attempt an all, all black layers. So black for the first layer, black for the second layer, okay? Alrighty. Hi, Christy. Oh, Cindy, thank you for sharing. Oh, I'm glad, Laura. You're such a sweetheart. Where are you going? Tracy, I am leaving for the second Chalk Couture sales trip. This is the second one I they had, second one I've earned. Um, to Cancun on Tuesday, we leave. And we won't be back till Sunday. So it's going to be super fun. I think that's centered. I'm hoping it is. Okay, ready? We're going to just smear some color on there. And we're going to come in and we're going to use this small squeegee. And we're going to pull the color around. And boy, did I use way too much. Holy cow. All right, get all that excess off. And then I'm going to be sure this time to do my registration marks because, like I said, on this surface, it will come off. Okay? It's all my lines. I'm going to come in. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to peel it up. Gosh, I just love the detail that it gives. Oh, it's crazy good, guys. Okay, it's a little hard to see the registration marks, but they're there. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's heat this up. Oh my gosh, doesn't it look so good? Sure, Anne-Marie, I'm happy to. Hi, Rhiannon. Rhiannon, hi, thank you for sharing, Lisa. Okay, so I think we're dry. Now we really want to take our time putting this layer down, okay? Because we don't want to pull it up off of the metal because this is going to be a super sticky surface. So I'm just going to fuzz it on my shirt real quick. Okay, I'm going to try my best to see where the registration marks were made. I think one is there. Sorry guys, I got to turn this for a sec. I cannot see what I'm doing. I think that is going to be it. I think that's going to be matched up nicely here. Okay, I don't see any bumps. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, get all the excess off. Take our time. Peel it back. Take your time. Do not rush. There's no rushing needed. Okay, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that I still, like, oh, this still gets me super pumped every single time I do it. Every single time. Hi, Lorraine. So do you use, I don't use wax on metal products. No, Shelly. Mm -mm. I'm using chalk. I'm using chalk because that way if I decide I want to change out my decor, I totally can. And see how easy it comes off? I don't know what that is. It's not the transfer. I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this dried. Hi, Cheryl. Did I say, I can't remember if I said hi or not. I love it too, Roberta. Hi, Shannon. You guys, it's so cute. All right, let's do, sorry, got to bring it down where I can see, but you guys will still be able to see because I'm doing it right here. We're going to do the farm. Okay, oops, I'm going to fuzz it up. Just fuzz it on my shirt real quick. I do too, Courtney. It's awesome, isn't it? Okay, so now let's do, I think right about there looks to be even. Looks pretty straight too, right? Yeah, it looks pretty straight. Okay. everything is looks covered okay take your time pull it back <gasps> look how good that looks oh my gosh you guys oh <laughs> I love it I love it oh my gosh if you have not decided to get your hands on this collection yet, I'm not sure what you're waiting on. This is the Corner Market Collection. I have worked with almost all of the transfers in it. I have one more left to do, I think, or two more left to do, two more pieces. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not Corner Market Collection. I'm sorry. This is Life on the Farm. If you have not decided to get your hands on Life on the Farm, grab it. It goes so well. Sorry, I meant to say it goes so well with Corner Market collection the chalk stories it is fantastic hi trina miss the start using chalk ring i'm using chalk lorraine um hi carol and i'm using chalk because that way if i decide i want to change it out and do something else on this i absolutely can okay this turned out super cute so we've got this project and we did oopsie this one fell over this project now what i would like to be able to do is maybe wrap what would look cool some like twine around like maybe around the top some twine would look really cool some baker's twine do i have any let's see if i have any hold on thought i had some down here uno momento christmas lights oh i have this cool ribbon that might be fun I had some. I wonder what I did with it. But I got this, and this will maybe probably make it look good. Let's see. Ooh, I think this will look really cool. Okay, so we've got this one. Let's come back. 
Let's look up this one. Let's see if I can't wrap some really pretty ribbon around it. It's like very, uh, very farm-esque. Just a little something, you know? Like just something like this. As simple as that. Just adding a little bit to it, right? And then maybe... I don't want to do a flower. I literally just want it to be something super simple. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay. Hi, Dee Dee. How are you? Thank you, Jackie. Hi, Zillia. I love this transfer. I do too, girl. It's super fun, huh? some trusty glue dots they seem to do the trick most times got one stuck to my finger fantastic love when that happens straight for the most part looks pretty straight to me look at that just a little added something what do you guys think a little rustic -y looking maybe add a little something else right here I'm not entirely sure what maybe Ooh, maybe a fun I got an idea hold on I've got an idea something else that we can do Un momento. Let's see. I need a small one. Super, super small. Hold on. Not into the much, but I think it will add to it. How the hell? Oh, here it is. Oh, yes. I think just because this might match the, the color of the wood. What about a little something just like this? I could do it over here. I could do it up here. Why is the camera crooked? Did I do something? There it goes. Where do we like it? Oops. Do we like it? I don't think I like it centered. It's too much. I kind of feel like I would put it off to the side a little. What do you think? Attaching Dacia? Raffia? Is that maybe what you are going to say? Yeah, Raffia. Okay. Yeah, I don't have that. Crisscross on angle or maybe wire. I don't have any twigs. I wish I did. You guys have to know that that is so far out of my comfort zone. I don't have it. What would what I do? Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know how this would look, but this could be something I could yank out of. Not sticks, but what if I added it across here like this with welcome? Is that like, no, that's probably not cool, right? I don't know. It kind of looks neat. I don't know. I've got these and I want to use them with something like in a different sort of kind of way at least I did not want these to be apart I want them to be together yeah I don't have raffia well, um, I wish I did I'm trying to think could I no I don't think it'll look I don't think we'll do that I think what we'll just do is stick with the flower off to the side. 
and I think it'll pull it in. I think it's going to be too big for it. It won't. It's not too personal. I'm working woman now better than soaking. What is it? Hope this is not too personal, but as a working woman now, better than soaking in a tub of hot water watching Chalk and Dora. <laughs> it's not too personal, Dee Dee. You're so cute. I am thinking what I want to do. I wish I had some tags. I don't have any. Like even hanging some tags. Oh, guess what I found? Oh, yes. Look what I've got. But they're not big pieces. But even, dang, they're not big enough. <sighs> womp womp, they're not big enough. That stinks. I need to get myself some of this stuff. If I'm going to start doing some little country decor here, I need to get it. Okay, let's try this. It needs to be used on the measurement transfer. Ah, very cute, Jackie. I like that idea. I actually, that's, do you guys want a sneak peek of that? I already did it. It's one of the videos for next week. Hold on. I'm going to attempt this. These flowers hurt my hands. I think that looks cute. Just a little added something. A little something extra, right? I think that turned out really cute. A little add on here. Okay, I like that. All right, so do you want to see the measurement transfer? Like I said, it's already done, and it's actually right next to me. I haven't put it downstairs in my kitchen yet. String from one of the round boards. Any burlap. Thought I had it. I do not. Womp, womp. I do not. The rolling pin would be good with no ribbon if it was going in a kitchen. Yeah. It, there are, there is a project I have in mind already for them. But I just thought, oh, they're right there. Maybe it'll be a little something fun, but that's good. Yay, let's get a sneak peek. You got it. All right, so here is project one that we did tonight. Let's show you this real quick. So we have project one. And then we've got... Project two, both with Life on the Farm, two different, um, two different, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Canvases, if you will. Okay, here is the kitchen measurement one. I don't know, just go like this with my phone so you guys can see it all. It's on um, a canvas that's wrapped around a picture frame. I thought this would be super cute um, to match my kitchen. So I actually really love how it turned out. Super simple, super easy. I love it. How's that? How do you guys like that? Cute, right? All right, let's come on back to me. Yay! So I really, really, I have to say, I flip and love this. And this is so going to match the other stuff that I've already done. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see the videos on it. This is like all my little decor, my farmhouse decor, all coming together. Oh, I love it. Gosh, we, Chocotour hit this release out of the park this time. Out of the park. So let's chit chat, shall we? So if, while you were watching this, you said to yourself, hi, April, how are you? Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Roberta. Hi, Casey. Hi, thank you, Lisa. What transfer has the women on it? It's life on the farm. So if while you were watching this, you said to yourself, you know what? I am not already working with a designer and I need to get my hands on those supplies. Well, I would love to be your designer and I would love to invite you into my VIP group. Um, in my VIP group, I have special offers, bundle deals, a chalk box subscription, and over 400 chalk couture videos that can help you with some inspiration to go ahead and create beautiful pieces of work of art. Um, please know designers. I hope you understand it is a customer and potential customer group only. Um, if also while you were watching this, you said, you know what? I love the way that girl acts and I love the passion that she has about Chalk Couture. And you know what? I can do it too. I can do it better. Um, if you 
are saying that I really would love to have you join my team. Um, if you would be interested in purchasing a business in a box for $99, it's everything you need to get your business up and running. $99 valued over $240. You're going to want to comment join down below because when you come and join, I'll message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that's about 25 minutes long that goes over every single thing you need to know, not just about joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. Um, it will be the best 25 minutes you invest into deciding whether or not you want to start a business of your own. So, um, Yay, Kristen, I will message you that link for sure. My VIP group, you got it. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed my projects. Oh, I have something on my contact. I think I got chalk paste on it. Um, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed my projects tonight, um, I encourage you to come on back. Like I said, if you have not already, please hit the like button on my fan page. I'm super close to 3,000 fans. Um, I would love to have you. Um I think that's it. I can't wait to go. To, I'm like, my brain is thinking a mile a minute on um, decorating with this. Like, I cannot wait to get downstairs and put it in with the rest of the decor I made. I'm like freaking out. So um, I really hope you guys have a great night. I thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Take good care. Bye. Bye.